Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. Today's video, we're going to be speculating on the next Awakened unit. But before that, if you want to update Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay guys, so we're starting off with Replacer King. There's a probability that Replacer King will be part of one of the counter pass. We're not sure yet when, but in the Taiwan server, they actually got it around August 11th, 2021. So there's also a good chance that we will be getting him um, from the counter pass. But the next counter pass will be Lyudmila. So I'm ruling him out of the race. Um, let's take a uh, let's take a look at the other two and see if which is most likely to be the one that will be dropping this month. All right, guys. So before we start, you know, speculating on who will be um, dropping within this month for the weekend unit, why don't you go to the, the comments uh, section below and write down your answers on who you want to drop this month so far we don't have any leaks uh, pointing towards any of these two that i'm going to discuss um the first one is going to be replacer queen um for october nothing yet we usually have one awakened unit every month um there was there was actually one month that we had two but again i'm expecting at least one this month so let's take a look at the uh, replacer queen so she is an um, Awakened SSR Sniper counter and only at 5 cost. Okay, just to note a bit, both of uh, the, the Awakened units that we'll be discussing today is going to be 5 cost. So they're going to be very good, um, especially in PvP, once, we, once they drop or at least one drops first and the other drops next. They will be very good in terms of your team. You could put them as a leader and drop them to four, which will be very, very um, good value in terms of deployment cost. So again, for the Bracer Queen, she is at five cost. So she is a sniper. We'll be getting our first snipe, Awakened Sniper when she comes out. So KR PvP, she's a 10 out of 10. She's very good in, in usual um, uh, PvE. Sorry, this is going to be PvE. 10 out of 10 and most PV mo PvE modes uh, because of her absurd damage once she manages to get full stacks on her passive. Okay, next is going to be KR PvP. So she's also going to be a 10 out of 10. Most probably, especially when she drops in Southeast Asia. She's a top tier borderland overpowered sniper who can decimate the enemy's team by herself. She also is easier to fit in the team due to her only being 5 cost. Again, I mentioned that earlier. And um, we, most of our snipers actually are at 4 cost. Um, some are at 3. So she can actually go down to 4 if she's going to be a leader. And is she worth pulling for? Yes, I think so. Because she is going to be useful for both PvE and for PvP. Okay, guys. So here we are uh, with the Placer Queen. Let's check out her skills, guys. And see what she can do. Okay, so she is a sniper, guys. So let's take a look at her basic attack first. So nice. Um, nice animation, guys. Um, very large thorns which uh, shoot out something. So fires an em enemy projectile at the enemies in front. Okay, shackles. This is going to be her passive. So permanently increases her skill haste by 1% up to 15%. Every time any unit in the field is killed. Okay. After every fourth basic attack, she knocks surrounding enemies backward and stuns and seals its skill for three seconds. Okay. So that is what she gives for her passive. Bosses and ships excluded. So at skill level five, ultimate skill cooldown minus one upon unit kill at 15 buff stacks okay next is going to be her um special skill which is queen's gambit um which is a 28 second cooldown Verti vertically discharges in uh, energy inflicting aoe da damage on enemies in a broad area okay stuns and afflicts enemies for two seconds at skill level five uh, target damage taken minus uh, plus 
for 10 seconds as well let's take a look at another run at her special skill so that is her special skill guys very unique for a sniper and her her ultimate is going to be checkmate it's going to be 56 second cooldown summons a globe that follows an enemy and repeatedly inflicts aoe damage on a broad area at scalable five attack plus one percent per affected targets up to plus 20 percent let's take a look at her um ultimate so that is the orb um it's gone okay anyway it's a, a very quick animation for her orb and that is more or less her ultimate let's take a, a second look at what she has and that is it so that is it for the replacer queen we now move on to our next awakened unit okay guys so our next probable awakened unit is going to be lee su yun so she is actually an ssr ranger counter and also again at five cost so again she has a very good enter the battle passive um and she damages the whole battlefield um very good but it can it can shoot most of the flying units like rosalia and yudmila so she is very centered towards anti-air as well buffs non-awakened counter rangers and gives them 30 percent skill haste and immunity to hit stun so kyle for example kyle gave rosaria and other rangers get an absurd boost when paired with ace of wings okay uh, in kr pve score is going to be 9 out of 10 which is actually pretty decent and pretty pretty good actually she's a great in pv pv content where you need to deal with air units or just to act as buffer to rangers a must-have unit for guild co-op uh for boss for the boss there because the boss actually needs do needs um needs to have a needs to be controlled in terms of air units because he has little minions there that fly in the air kr pvp score is going to be an 11 out of 10 which is actually pretty much uh, more than perfect she's beyond overpowered and because of her five base cost she's easier to fit in your team again she can be a four once you put her as leader um rosaria Rosa, rosaria and other uh, fly units will be in danger when ace of wings isn't banned okay uh, recently she became the third unit in the history of krpv to be reached ban level four okay so again if is, is she future proof definitely she is okay here she is and let's take a look at her skills and skill deployment as well so for this um this uh, particular awakened unit so she's a ranger and uh, we already have a, a a ranger that is um in play which um is going to you know give us more uh, uh, options in terms of awakened units so again i like the way she is actually designed she looks like a mech she's she's similar to awakened hilde but she's a bit bigger in terms of the wings and the weapons that she has so that is actually her basic attack so fires a blaster inflicting aoe damage on the ground on and around the target in gauntlet aerial melee attacks additionally inflicts damage by 20 percent of current hp so she is going to be have a buff with her hp at basic attack level 5 air targets hit by her melee attack receive minus 100 percent healing for 20 seconds so again she is going to have a, a, a debuffs as well her passive is called ace quickly enters the battlefield and attacks all units when deployed so let's uh let's uh kill her for a bit and let us deploy her again sorry so enters the battlefield see there's going to be enter the battlefield damage um it's actually across the whole battlefield um in um in gauntlet ad additionally inflicts damage on air units except for ship by 33 percent on their current hp so grants all non-awakened ranger counters immunity to stun from special or lowered skills so again she is uh air unit with mostly um counter to air units so she actually is your solution to a lot of air units at skill level 5, her buff also adds skill haste plus 
So for her special skill, Release Arsenal Wings. So it's going to be a 23 second cooldown, releases her new strategic uniform, Arsenal Wings Autonomous Weapons, including AoE damage on and around her target, has a bar equal to 30% max HP for 6 seconds after the skill, and uh, at level 5, she's going to be uh, she's going to have a negative 30% damage taken barrier duration. Okay, next is going to be her ultimate, which is uh, Strike Code. Let's take a look at her ultimate first. And she looks like a, a mix of a counter in a way mech. I really love um, her design, by the way. Combines her arsenal wings and receives uh, a reactive sword, inflicting AoE damage in front with their powerful energy grants immunity to sit stun for special or lower skills for 12 seconds after the skill so at level 5 of her ultimate cooldown minus 6 seconds which brings down the cooldown to 48 seconds buff also adds attack plus 15 percent let's take a another look at her ultimate so by the way guys um so you have you know you, you've seen the showcase for most likely to drop so Either the replacer, uh, replacer queen, or it's going to be Lee Su Yun. For me, if you want my, you know, if you want my take on who is going to drop, my initial thoughts are going to be: Who do we need right now in the meta? So, what do we, you know, what do we lack? We actually lack a ranger as an awakened uh, unit. But again, in terms of where I think. Um, the meta is moving towards. I think it's going to be Lee Seo Yun is going to be next. Probably next is going to be the Replacer Queen. So what I'm thinking is because the Replacer King is going to be probably a month from now or probably two months from now. Uh, Replacer Queen will be more or less be near Replacer King in terms of her banner. So I'm going with Lee Seo Yun for the next um, awakened um, SSR to drop in Southeast Asia. So hopefully we could get her within the month of October. So far, there hasn't been any leaks in terms of uh, when she's going to be out. But again, I'm pretty very much excited to see her out and definitely I'm going to summon for her. Anyway, guys, if you've stuck this far in this video, Please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot and also don't forget to click that bell icon and also to put a like to this video thank you guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here